I just delivered a Walmart spark to a gentleman with no legs at a place where many men that I saw in there had no legs, some kind of nursing home or facility or something. Uh, funny story, my, my sister used to work there when she was a teenager, anyways. I get there and it's a lot of bags, a big box fan. Uh, I needed, to, I had to wait a few minutes to get in. Some room number, there was instructions. Somebody else ordered it for this gentleman. And there was a passcode that was needed. He didn't have the passcode, so we ordered it for him. And in the app, you can't, you know, move forward without the passcode. I found myself getting frustrated. I'm sitting in a room, it smelled. I'm spending more time on this order than I would like to. I said, well, can you reach out to the person? You know, I helped, I had to help the guy, you know, figure out what was going on. And as I sit there and I'm, I'm becoming frustrated, this man is happy. Sitting in a bed, looked like he soiled himself or something. He's got the biggest smile on his face. I've been waiting for this fan. Thank you so much. I've been waiting. It's hot in there. As I'm walking through to find his room, the woman's like, yeah, oh man, he's been waiting for his fan. I hear them say that as I'm walking with the fan and the bags, all the things that he got. And I'm thinking like, man, why am I frustrated right now? Now, I don't feel sorry for this man. And this is why, like, just cause he ain't got no legs and the other, like, that doesn't mean that they're not happy necessarily. Like it's extremely unfortunate. I feel grateful I got my legs. <laughs> Anything can happen to any of us, <laughs> but I'm sitting there feeling like frustrated for myself, which is silly. I'm feeling like bad for this man, which is also silly because I don't know him. He's got a smile on his face. I didn't have one on mine. He's, he's showing me gratitude. I didn't show him gratitude until the end. I helped him get, we got the passcode. The lady was like, I heard on the phone. Oh, I don't ever need a passcode. I think they might have needed a passcode because there was a room number involved and they wanted to make sure that me, as a driver, was delivering it to the correct place. And the only way I could do that and complete it in the app was by getting the passcode. You gotta get the passcode. It signifies that it was drop off at the right room. Makes sense, I, don't, I think that's smart. I delivered to a man with no legs. That was the happiest person I've interacted with today grateful to get a box fan in a room that's extremely hot, extremely smelly, and dirty. I have these moments sometimes, and I feel like lately I've been having them over the last year more and more. I start to recognize certain things and recognize things about myself. How am I interacting with people? How am I feeling? How are the people around me feeling, whether it's good or bad, or whether they're a clown or they're a nice person, grateful that somebody helped them order a box fan and some other groceries to their living facility. Perspective, I think, is a really powerful thing at times. I and I sometimes lack it. I sometimes lack it. Just, just keep it real. I lack it at times. And I always like to, when I see it, I, I, I do recognize it. And sometimes it hits you and sometimes it doesn't. But I'm out here working on a day where I don't ever usually work. It's Sunday because you know we as a family we have some financial goals we want to hit and things that we want to do and I said you know what let me work you know if I can make an extra four or five hundred bucks a month on top of what I already do it'll allow us to do some of those things without having to compromise anything else I think a lot of us can relate to that but as I'm sitting here looking crazy tired because I am um I delivered to a dude that had no legs and was a better man than I was in that moment. I just got to call it how I see it. And that's the truth. And, uh, I think a lot of times we tend to complain and moan and bitch about this and that and orders and money, which is all fine. It's good. It's, there's nothing wrong with it. But getting a box fan delivered to this man was possibly the highlight and very important part of his day because it's going to make him feel more comfortable you know and I didn't do it I got paid to do it I was 
happy to do it, it's fine. But I'm getting frustrated because I gotta wait for her access code. I gotta, the lady doesn't know where room 12 is. I had never been there before. I need to wait for the pin code, passcode from him and he didn't have it and I'm carrying all these bags, a couple of trips. And maybe I spent 10 minutes more than I should have, but um, <laughs> life, man. I delivered to a guy with no legs. And he put me in my place today. <laughs>